what's going on hope you're doing good today in today's video i'm going to be talking about my first racist experience and so on this channel i'm talking about my experience in my adoption and hopefully providing education for other adoptees that may be struggling and experiencing the same feelings may not understand them and then maybe for adopted parents that adopted a different race and i try to help through my experience and what i believe the uh, adoption agencies and the business of adoption missed on educating my parents about that could have been easily solved and this this uh this race thing is just like such a vital piece of like my entire life because Basically, my two problems were race and grief that were missed. And so I am Latino and I was adopted into my white family at age four. They fostered me until four. And then we moved to Georgia uh, from California at when I was seven. So they did not think that it was important to tell me uh, what race or ethnicity I was. And they were taught from the adoption agencies that, you know, don't, don't raise them to see color. Color doesn't matter. Just raise them just as if it was your biological child. And that's how I was raised. And it did more damage than I think any other thing, because thinking that way for them, they decided that to make a better life for our family, they, they wanted to move to Georgia. And if you don't know anything about Georgia, it's basically in Atlanta, there it's it's a lot of African American, black people, and then in other parts, there's all white neighborhoods, and it can get very, 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 very racist. Um, and we lived in an all white neighborhood, and immediately i started to experience what i now know as racism but i wasn't prepared for racism i wasn't taught my race i was told that i was american and the first racist thing that happened to me was i was basically in my backyard and this is the first thing i can remember and unfortunately the kid behind me was the most racist person i think i've ever met and he was just a bad kid he he was just kind of a bad person and uh he would bully me on the way home from school and i was very very small small child i was very skinny i was always made fun of for how small i was and i was just a very confused kid and when we moved from california to georgia i was used to being in a diverse area with you know black hispanic asian and california is very diverse and uh so I got along with everybody. I was very happy. I didn't really question anything. And then we moved to Georgia and I experienced this racism, which just felt really horrible. It was just like this kid would say, hey, what are you fucking Afghanistan? I remember I'm like, Afghanistan, what is he talking about? What does that even mean? And one day he was yelling at me and we were in the backyard. I was walk I always walked home from school uh, and he just like picked on me. I didn't really understand it. I knew it was bullying. I knew he was kind of being a piece of crap, piece of shit, whatever. And he threw a rock. And I think we were like 20 yards away from each other. His house is right behind mine. So we'd walk home together from the bus. And uh, he threw a rock in my face as hard as he could. He just threw it. And I, d I couldn't see it. I was like, I was like, and I just heard it go. Roof! Like right by my face and i was like holy shit i almost got my eye taken out dude and he yells go back to where you fucking came from or go back to your country something along those lines and i and i was just like go back what are you talking about like i was born in america like what does that mean i was like why would he say that so obviously i went to my parents and i asked him hey why why would somebody do that why would he say go back to where you came from what am i like obviously i know that i'm darker than my family i I'm starting to question everything like why am I being treated like this and they go I specifically remember my mom says you're American like there's nothing different about you like and the, so immediately my heart sank because I'm like 
First of all, she's lying because I know that's not the full truth. I know shit, I'm American, but like, I'm just like, she's lying to me. She's not going to tell me my race. I'm all alone. Like, and not only did it not help solve the racism, it didn't prepare me for how to solve anything after that. So not only am I still stuck with not knowing my race, which I'm, you know, proudly can say like I'm Latino and it took me 21 years basically until I met my birth family to say that. But now I, first of all, don't know how to deal with bullying. I don't know how, even what racism is. I don't even know that it's racism. And now I'm more lost than if I didn't go to her and ask her that. So if there's any parents out there or any adoptees out there that are going through this, first of all, I can relate and I'm sorry that you're going through that. But to be completely alone in my own home and own neighborhood, I was fucked. I mean, I had nobody that looked like me. I was picked on almost daily and it didn't get any better. And I was just, it just was the most damaging thing that probably could have ever happened in my life. And what I would say to adoptive parents that are adopting a different race is stay in a diverse area, support your kids, ethnicity, whatever they are, Asian, white, black, whatever their ancestry is, get them things of their uh, culture and get them around other kids that are their culture and other adoptees because I didn't know adoption had so much to do with my life. I didn't know race had so much to do with my life. I didn't know grief had so much to do with my life. I was not told any of these things. My parents were not told any of these things. So I'm in a household where just con mass confusion. I'm confused. I'm getting picked on. I'm angry. I'm rebelling. My parents are confused. They think they're doing the best for me and they're not understanding why I'm angry. And then, so it's a disservice to an entire family of adoption that the adoption agency just like did not teach them about grief or race or that it's important to support somebody from a different race culturally. Like I was never told that I was Latino. I was told that I could not meet my biological family until I was 18. And this was just extremely, extremely like made me suicidal. Like I can't like be nice about it or anything. Like I wanted to kill myself ever since we moved to Georgia and it was very, very young age. Like, so if I could say to any parents that adopted a different race, like what would have helped me is first of all, since I was so small and weak and fucking couldn't defend myself, I would have loved to get into some sort of boxing and MMA and I believe boxing and MMA teaches you more about how to carry yourself and how to have confidence within yourself. Not necessarily about fighting people are like, oh, well, then you're going to turn into a bully. Like all the MMA guys that I hear about that and my friends that know how to fight, like they're easy to get along with. And it's the way you carry yourself is that, oh, this guy looks like you might know, you know, not to mess with him or whatever. And ever since I started working out and getting more confident, like, it's like when I needed the confidence the most, I got picked on the most. Now that I'm working out and I'm bigger and stronger, like it just feels like I never get picked on anymore and it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and um like if if my son right here, my he's my biological son, let's say I adopted him and he was from a different race, like I would teach him, hey, from the earliest age, like repeat over and over and over, like you're uh latino you're we're proud to have you you know you're different than us but and we can't and we can never replace your your biological parents but you know we just have different roles here uh like what questions do you have i'm gonna do whatever it is that whatever comes up in your life you know you may not have the words for but we're gonna help you through whatever you need and, you know, there's this, this, and this, there's grief, there's race that we need to talk, sit down and talk to you about. And whenever these things come up, I'm here, whatever you have to ask, I'm here. Like, we're going to, if you're getting bullied, we're going to get you into MMA. We're going to teach you how to fight. Not saying that you're going to go fight everybody, but you're going to know how to defend yourself. And my parents always taught me that defending myself was wrong, that there's no violence, there's no fighting. Jesus turned the other cheek. And then I was basically taught 
to be a pushover and it was something that I knew was wrong but there's so much loyalty to your adopted family for taking care of you and this narrative that you're lucky and grateful it just your boundaries are already just fucked like you have no boundaries your boundaries are getting stepped on all the time so you feel like you're angry and you have to for me I, you have to keep it to yourself but to to teach your adopted child about race support them get things in your home that are about their race their needs their grief uh books you know training somebody that looks like them uh adopted children other adopted people other races that look like them have friends that uh look like them of your own i mean as a parent if you don't have other races as your adopted child that is also a huge red flag and this could have saved my family years and decades of horrible horrible times so i hope this video is helpful i try not to make too long of videos i know it's hard to sit through all these but genuinely try to help out hope this taught you something hope you can uh, learn from these or identify with these and i think that's it have a good day